Hey, let me tell you something, girlfriend. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna teach you a lesson. Because, you know, you went, I went to high school and college. Like, well, why didn't you learn this stuff? Because you weren't taught how to think. I'm going to put on my thinking cap, which is Fuji. Like, You're a shill. You're wearing a Fuji hat. Actually, it blocks the lights out of my face. <clears throat> Let's first talk about this. What's the difference between 2% job growth and 3% job growth? It's like, well, the difference between 2 and 3% is negligible. No. <laughs> if I have, like, 1% of something and then I add uh, 2%, you're like, well, it's only 2%. You know, versus one percent, it's like, what's the difference between one percent and two percent? Well, it's double, isn't it? Anyway, I have one here, and now we got two, right? This is what people don't get, like when they're talking about uh, sensor size. Let me tell you something, girlfriend, about sensor. Like, I've had some stupid people talk about the Fuji. Field. I've already said, and it's not my opinion; it's a fact that outside of the fifty thousand dollar Phase One, for example, that the GFX has bar none, flat out, balls out. Tougher than the woodpecker lips. The best goddamn images is when you drop a uh, raw or a uh, uncompressed raw on that SD card and you open it up like on a 4K display like this and, you know, you click open the image and you go, ah! <laughs> What's the difference between 1% and 2% again? Now that sensor is 1.7 times the size of an FX sensor. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Crop factor is 0.79. Instead of like... Uh, Crop sensor, where you multiply it times 1.5, as compared to FX, you're multiplying it in the reverse crop factor, 0.79. Anyway, the sensor is uh, 1.7 times bigger, so you're like, well, that means it's 170% better. No, that would be additive. The sensor area is 170% bigger, but the actual value of that exposure, if we could use the exact same lens, same shooting conditions, blah, blah, blah. It is exponentially better. It is not additive, like we got 1 plus 1 equals 2. That would be additive. Okay? And of course, we can't use 1 and 1, because 1 times 1 is also 1, right? It is a multiplicative. It is exponential. So instead of like 2 plus 2 equals 4, no, we're, <laughs> we got the same issue then. <laughs> six, like three times three, right? It's not three plus three, which equals six. It'd be three times three. In other words, the point is that it's an exponential value. It is multiplicative value. It's like, well, that's just like, um, some people were telling me that, well, <laughs> the sensor in that uh, GFX is like, uh, well, you know, it's not really that, but it is a lot bigger, of course, 170%, one, yeah, 1. 1.7 times bigger. It is a multiplicative, okay? Same difference between 1% and 2%. It's like, well, it's it's only 1% more. Well, it's twice again. So this is something we never seem to learn in college or high school. Uh, difference between additive and multiplicative. It's kind of like you can, like, snap a bunch of branches. Like, you got five branches, but if you tie all those five branches together as one... Then, you know, like the, the toughest man on earth isn't going to break them, for example. You know what I'm saying? Individually, there are only five branches, you know, which is the old Roman symbolism. We know that, the fascia. If you tie them together, then they're unbreakable. That's where this whole united we stand, divided we fall stuff came from. Came from the Greeks and the Romans and the Egyptians, blah, 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 blah. Same thing with sensor size. It's like, well, it's only 1.7 times bigger. That is true, but it is not additively bigger in uh, the quality that is rendered. The color saturation and micro contrast will uh, turn your underwears wet. Underwear wet. <laughs> was that it? was that uh, uh, analogously uh, good enough of an explanation? Okay, just because something is only like 1.7 times bigger doesn't mean it's well, you know, well, it's 1.7 times better. No. Things increase exponentially. There's an old parable about, uh, there's an old riddle or something. That you, like the guy asks the king for, he said, well, you can have whatever you want. He says, well, I only want one penny a day, but I want you to double it every day. Like the, the guy saves his, uh, the king's uh, daughter or something like that. He says, what do you got one? I only want one penny a day, but I want you to double it every day for a year. 
It's like a really short order. Once you double a penny every day, you know, it becomes exponentially titanic very, very, very quickly. So here we learn something. Exponential versus additive. Okay? This applies directly in photography. Same thing on an f-stop. People are like, well, what's the difference between an f2 and an f18 or an f14? Well, that's not that much. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Thank you so much for watching. I keep running up against a wall that people don't understand this principle of photography, and it's understandable, but there it is. Bye. <laughs> oh, my God.